Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the memory function to store and recall variables on the Casio FX115 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the alpha key that looks like this located here, the store and recall key that looks like this located here, and the independent variable or m plus key that looks like this located here. We'll also use the memory slots A through F that are located along here, X and Y down here, and M located here that are all accessible using the alpha function of these keys. Getting started, if we want to store a number like 5 as a variable in our calculator, what we do is place the 5 on our screen, and now store is the shift function of this RCL key. So we press shift RCL with the shift function of store. We see STO appear on our screen, and now we choose a memory slot. So let's store this into X. So we select the right bracket here with the alpha function of X. And now we see we've stored five as X in our calculator. We can also store the result of calculations the same way. Let's say we do eight plus two equals, and we get 10 and want to store that. Let's store it into Y. So now we can press Shift RCL so that we got store there, and then select the Y memory slot. There we go, answer, that's this value here, into Y. All right, those values are stored. Now if it's later on and we want to recall those values, like say we want to get our X value back, we can press the RCL key or recall, we see RCL at the top there, and then we choose our X memory slot, and we see X is equal to 5. We can also recall these values using the alpha function. Let's say we wanted to do X plus Y. Well, to do that, we can press alpha X plus alpha Y, there we go, x plus y equals, and we get 15, which is the same as 5 plus 10. These examples might seem a little basic, but the memory function and recall function is really helpful when we want to do long or complicated equations and use multiple variables. An example of this would be using Pythagoras to solve for a side on a triangle. Let's say we were given this triangle, where we had this side is 4, this side is 3, and we wanted to determine this side here. Well, we know that a right angle is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and can be rewritten as the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. So if we call this our a side, and this our b side, we can determine this c side. Well, let's store 4 as A, so we press 4, shift, store as our A, there we go, 4 into A, and our 3 as B, so 3, shift, store, B. Okay, we've got our variables stored. Now we can enter it into this formula here. So we go square root of alpha a squared plus alpha b squared. There we go. And press equals. And we get a result of 5. So our c side is 5. And again, we can store this in our calculator as C. 
if we need to use it later. So shift store C. There we go. This calculator also has an independent memory slot or the M slot. What's interesting about this is we can add and subtract to it with the M plus or M minus function. So let's say we store 100 into our M. So we can press shift store M. There we go, 100 into M. Now, if we wanted to add a 2 to that, we can just press 2 and then the M plus key. Now, if we recall our M, we see it's 102. We can also subtract from our M or independent memory the same way. If we want to subtract 50 from it, we can press 50 and then use the shift function of the M plus, which is M minus. So shift M minus. There we go. And now if we recall our M value, we see it's 52. You'll notice an M that appears on the top of our screen when we have a value stored in our M or independent variable slot. This is just reminding us that there's something stored there. If we want to clear that, we can do that by storing zero into our M slot. So if we go zero, shift, store, and M, so there we go, zero into M. We notice that M on the top of our screen has now disappeared and we have nothing stored in our M slot. If we want to clear all our memory slots at the same time, what we can do is press Shift 9. That'll bring us to this menu here. And then if we select number 2, Memory, it'll ask us to confirm and press Equals. It'll say Complete, and we can clear it here. And now all our memory slots have been cleared. All right. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.